dazzling sand, palm trees, ocean view houses. Why, where could this be? The glamorous French Riviera? Can, perhaps. No, oh, but you'd be forgiven for thinking so. It's Western Supermare, Somerset, just 18 miles south of the city of Bristol, and easily accessible by rail or car. A grand family. Here in these images, we see many things. We see the liberated, sunbathing bodies of our ancestors. We see innocence, comfort. We see a land of plenty. A land where every day is a pleasant one, with lots to do for the whole family. It is a world so unlike our own. But I say to you, this is not an apparition. This is truth. This is our natural state. And we can reclaim it. We can return to our former glory. It all starts on the two-mile-long promenade. Just look at that view. The sand appears to stretch on to the horizon. Let's go, children. But no running. Oh, well, children will be children. Pull up a seat, Mum and Dad, and relax in the deck chairs. I hope you've brought your bucket and spade, because it's the sand castle competition. Everyone's getting involved. Look at that! It's a cathedral, a palace built out of sand. Don't fancy that. There's also donkey rides. Get up and close with these fairy friends as they trot up and down the seafront. The pool is a marvellous creation. Outdoor swimming at its finest. You might think you are closer to Saint-Tropez than Bristol. A 950 square meter space dedicated to fun. And fit with diving board for the acrobatic ones among us. The sands we roam are barren, and the sand palaces that once stood there have disappeared. But they shall return too. These content beings do not feel anxiety, do not suffer, do not stumble. They do not fight amongst themselves like barbarians. They simply live, modestly, freely, their temptations and sins stripped away. Ah, the pride of Western Superman. A marvelous sight. The Grand Pier. A superstructure stretching out into the sea. On it you'll find amusements, ice cream, and competitions. Here's Sid James, Britain's funniest man, trying his hand, or fist, at the boxing machine. Here he goes to wind up. Oh no, he'll never be able to hit on target. Not with the beauty contest about to start. Eyes on the prize, Sid. It's a glamorous occasion, with swimwear being the required attire. 
congratulations to Miss Emma Foster. One could easily spend a whole day on the pier alone. Back on land, there's more. While seagulls fight over the remains of the fishermen have left behind, the humans can settle down for something more indulgent. The seafront is dotted with marvellous restaurants and luxurious hotels. All manner of seafood is available. The Strand Palace is a fashionable and modern establishment. You shan't forget it in a hurry. Of course, if it's thrills you're after, look no further than the Winter Garden Pavilions. A stunning ballroom and music hall. There's a reason they call it the Mecca of Good Dancers. Dance, dance, dance. But remember, like they say, no squares allowed. You shan't forget any of Western Supermare in a hurry. Sun, sea, sand and fun. For everyone. The biggest treat of the summer. The biggest treat of the summer. The biggest treat of the summer. Some among us have pledged to question our principles. And to them we say, be gone. And we shall not return to those golden sands without belief. Without our unity, we are lost. We shall return to the dazzling sands, where we shall live new, fulfilled lives. Where we shall dance, dance, dance. But brothers, we must hold steady and be true. We must not be distracted by these disruptive thoughts. A past magnificence can be regained. So see, so. Return us to the basilisk sands. Return us to the pavilion, where we shall dance, dance, dance. There we will cast away sin and shame and guilt and suffering. Return us to Western Superman.